This week on The Wire, growth, the fastest in 18 years, housing inquiry targets stamp duty, and government acts on timber shortage. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, growth, the fastest in 18 years. So Australian house prices have hit a record quarterly increase and transaction levels continue to rise across Australia. Now, the latest ABS figures suggest house prices increased 6.7% in the June quarter, which was the fastest pace of quarterly growth in 18 years. Now, ABS head of price statistics, Michelle McCart, says persistent low levels of stock on the market and strong demand is driving prices up. Now, the total value of Australia's 10.7 million residential dwellings increased almost $600 billion to $8.9 trillion in the June quarter, which was the largest quarterly rise since ABS began the series in 2003. Now, CoreLogic figures reveal house prices nationally increased 18.4% in the 12 months to August. An RBA Assistant Government for Economics, Lucy Ellis, told the Federal Government inquiry into housing affordability that a lack of supply was driving up prices. You don't increase affordability by giving people more money to spend on housing, Ellis says. All that does is bid up prices. And now for our next story. Housing inquiry targets stamp duty. So multiple submissions have been made to a federal government inquiry on housing affordability calling for the scrapping of stamp duty. Now, while stamp duty is a state fee, submissions to the inquiry suggest national cabinet meetings could be used to coordinate reform. Now, the Housing Industry Association, Urban Development Institute of Australia, University of Canberra, Domain and the Urban Task Force all want stamp duty put on the agenda. Now, stamp duty can add tens of thousands to the cost of buying a home. Now, only the ACT has committed to phase it out, while New South Wales is considering a a switch to a smaller annual land tax. Now, the HIA labels stamp duty as inequitable and inefficient, while the UDIA says tax reform is achievable through a whole of federation endeavour. Now, the Urban Tax Task Force is recommending the federal government take the lead in discussions with the states to abolish stamp duty and replace it with a broad-based tax. And now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. So the government acts on timber shortage. So the federal government has stepped in to try and alleviate the price pressure on builders from an Australia-wide shortage of timber. Now it has announced a $15 million, uh, it's announced $15 million to help supply enough timber to build 10,000 new homes. Now the funds will be used to subsidise the transport of salvaged timber from plantations on fire ravaged Kangaroo Island to timber mills in South Australia and other states. Now Master Builders Association CEO Danita Warren says the move will be a big relief for builders, tradies and customers who have been hamstrung by the shortage. She says thousands of builders and tradies feared for their jobs as a result of the surge in timber prices and delays of up to three months. This this move is a no-brainer that will underpin the continued success of the home builder scheme that is fulfilling the dreams of first home ownership for thousands of people and playing a major role in accelerating economic recovery as we begin to look to the future beyond COVID lockdowns, she says. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that is action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.